Hello everyone, this is Stephanie from Little Steffi Big World and this is about the preparation for my Portugal 2019 album because it's got an awful lot of travel memorabilia and I'm using my travel journal that I have a whole series of videos of how I prepared it, how I did it while in Portugal and a flip through all the links are in the description and I also did already two step-by-step -step videos on how to prepare your travel scrapbook and how you can do this. So this is a very very travel memorabilia heavy um, scrapbook. I collected nearly two kilogram of travel memorabilia and I'm sorting them by city. So we went to five cities to Lisbon, Coimbra, Porto and from Porto we went to Guimaraes and Praga as day trips. So once I've sorted everything by city and divide them into each day. So for Lisbon we went from Germany to Lisbon on the 19th of December then we had one full day in December and then we went from Lisbon to Coimbra and then on the way back from Portugal we spent some days or some time in Lisbon as well. So everything goes into each of these days and this is where the travel journal is helping me a lot in determining okay when we, do we drink which um, port wine and when did I had this tea or something so everything is sorted into these 17 days we went for 17 days and I put everything of these days into an envelope so I have 17 envelopes in the end for each or day of this trip because I had um, quite some time it took me some time to sort this and then I didn't have um, time to do it immediately you know, to continue with it. So this is what it looks like 17 days of 2 kilograms of travel memorabilia. So it took me some time to choose a book. So I chose this book with craft paper. It's got 40, um, 80 pages in it. And then I'm going to this album, I'm taking each day out and sorting them in order. So what happened in the morning of that day, what happened in the afternoon and what happened in the evening. And then I'm deciding in the order of the day, like this is the first day when we took the train from Stuttgart to Frankfurt, how much can I put roughly on one page. So I'm deciding what can I do, so just having a rough idea of how I want to lay out this, leaving some space for the pictures of course, and then I'm pinning them down with a little piece of paper that says, you know, page one or page two and so on. So this is just a quick uh, flip through of how I'm sorting this and just roughly deciding. Sometimes I have a lot of travel memorabilia, sometimes just I uh, have a little pieces. So I had about 60 pages prepared. This is how it looked like on our floor. So I put everything on the floor just to say if I wanted to rearrange something and I was happy. I was just happy at looking at this. Then I went to the computer and took each of these packages, so each page that I prepared, I took it out and went through the pictures that I had on the computer deciding which one, two or three pictures at a maximum should go on each page. And I got them ordered online so I had to wait a few days for them to arrive and then I have to sort them to the according um, side or page you know so I had 104 pictures printed out so that's a massive awful lot of stuff all these two kilograms of travel memorabilia 104 pictures are all in this book and now I have to decide like supplies I want to use to do this travel script book so scissors some adhesive and some pens or pencils are all the basics that you actually need to do a scrapbook but I decided to use some of the stickers that I used for the travel journal so I want to use them here again I want to use that stuff up and I also had some washi tape samples with me so I decided I'm gonna use them as well and an awful lot of other washi tapes as well and the alphabet stands in different sizes so that's it. I'm ready to do this. So I start with page two actually in the travel script book. I have my uh, decided uh, supplies to the left. I take out the travel memorabilia and the according pictures. And now it's time to get creative. 
every time I do a travel scrapbook, the first two pages, first two to three pages are the hardest. You have to get a feel for how you want this travel scrapbook to look like, what style you're going to be using, if you want to do a lot of journaling or not, what type of uh, titles you want to do, how much, how thick it's going to get. And so, yeah, I'm. I'm Doing the first page is, is a lot like, oh, how should, should I do this, should I rip it off, should I cut it off, where should I do the, the pictures and I, I'm getting into a rhythm here where I use uh, washi tape as borders either in the background or on top, then placing around the material memorabilia and the pictures and I have very very little journaling. Uh, I hardly use any titles because my travel journal is already very very extensive. I have it in, uh, in big detail. There's a lot of details in my travel journal. So this is really just about the pictures. And these pictures, like these pictures of my husband and my daughter in the train is accommodated by the things that I collected while we were on the train, like this children's train ticket and a piece of our sparkling wine that we drank. And here's some washi tape, some train track washi tape that I'm putting in the background because we were on a train. So I hope this helps you and gives you an idea on how you can organize your travel memorabilia if you have an awful lot of it um, very very easily it takes some time in the preparation but then it really helped me to put this travel scrapbook together really really quickly after the first like three or four pages I figured out what I wanted this to look like and um, on average it took me 15 minutes per page to do this and I did 62 pages within a week I was finished so I will show you um, how I did the rest of the pages and a completely flip through soon so stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you want have a happy and safe travel and scrapbook on. Bye bye.